All right, so I'm not set up to take videos, so I may have to set the camera down, but this is to answer your question about um, what is f-stop. So we've got, I've got three different lenses here. This is a 50, 50 millimeter f1.4. And you can see the scale goes from 1.4 to 16. Um, and then I've got a 28 to 200 that is variable f3.5 to f5.6. And you can see here, f, it goes from f3.5 to f22. The 3.5 to 5.6 is the you know, I'm going to say the maximum, the most wide open aperture. And at 28 millimeter, you get F3.5 as the max. At 200 millimeter, which brings in distant objects much closer, you only get F5.6 as the maximum. Yet, you still have F22 as your minimum aperture, even though it's the higher number, it's a smaller aperture, and I'll show you in a minute how that works. Then, my latest acquisition a few years ago is a Sigma uh, 24 to 70 f2.8. Now, the f, the f-stop is fixed on this one at f2.8, uh, so that whether I'm shooting 24 mil millimeter, which is for more close up shots, wider angle, uh, or if I'm at 70 millimeter, which is to bring the subject closer in, um, in a narrow, narrow, narrower, um, field of view, I'm still at F2.8, which is a pretty good light gathering. Um, light gathering uh, aperture. So I'm going to keep going here. You can see on these lenses, this one I kind of locked. Um, we've got three different um, diameters or sizes of the actual. Um, I'm not sure what this is called, <laughs> whether it's the, the, uh, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but you can see on this one how it's much smaller, a little, you know, it's like the diameter of my thumb. This one is really big and this one is kind of, uh, it's, it's bigger than this one but smaller than this one. So way down in there, you can see the, um, I think that's called the iris. I'm gonna unlock this. So this is F16. So that's, that little hole is choked down. <clears throat> so it's not gonna let in very much light. As I turn the aperture ring, which you would only be doing uh, on a manual setting, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna take the lens cap off here. Uh, so you can see that is a huge opening and a really dusty, <laughs> really dusty lens. Uh, but this 50 millimeter f1.4 is gonna let in a lot of light. Meaning, if you have a low light situation that you're shooting in, this is probably the best lens. It's also <clears throat> the shortest depth of field, which I'm going to have to leave another comment uh, to explain. There's a, there's a relationship between aperture or f-stop um, shutter speed and depth of field and ISO. All of those are interrelated as far as your depth of field and your your light gathering capability uh, with the lens, but I hope this I hope this kind of showed what the 
f-stop is. So that's on this one is f-16, and then wide open it's f-1.4. Um, you would use this when it's like dark you know, inside or, you know, dusk or sunrise or whatever. You're going to end up using like f-16 or some of the higher, you know, f-6 through f-16. You'll use those when it's like outside in bright sunlight. But anyway, that's, uh, that's all I got to say about that. Hopefully that helped.